opposite stay with Stacy Slade. This is Stacy and Frenzy. Frenzy is four months old and she's in training to become a show puppy. Yay, Frenzy. So what I'm doing with her now, I haven't done a lot with her. I've worked on my puppy push-ups, which we have other videos that show puppy push-ups to sit down and stand. She's okay at stand. Um, you can see, see she's still jumping up on me, which I'm trying not to reward for at all. Uh, rewarding for her to sit nicely and wait for me. Um, so this weekend she goes to her first dog show. Uh, it'll be four to six month old puppy class and she's in for surprise. <coughs> she doesn't know what's going on. But I wanted to show you <coughs> a little bit about what we're planning for. So I've got a brush out here. A lot of people say they struggle with brushing their puppy. So I've got a pin brush. I'll show you what the pin brush looks like. There's many forums, many ways you can get a pin brush. It just has, there's hair in it, sorry guys, but there's just pins and so it's not, it doesn't hurt the dog, but it has their good inch or so long so they get in the coat. I have treats and I just practice this like I do anything else. I have a treat in her mouth that she's working on. I don't just give it to her, she's working on like gnawing it from my fingers and I brush her because she's really dirty because she's a ragamuffin. And I play spin, I come back here, get her chest, which is dirty. There, now she's kind of presentable. She will have a bath before she shows. But this is just for today to show you how I brush my puppies. I don't make it a thing. I don't pin them down. I don't turn them upside down. I just get them used to this brush and, you know, she doesn't she only needs brushing to brush out her, her coat. She doesn't have mats at this age. She might be starting to blow a little bit of her puppy coat, but that's how I train them. I have a grooming table to do nails with. She watches her sister and her parents get their nails trimmed, so it's like, oh, they're getting something done. I want it done too. So that's a little bit on puppy grooming. Now, for what happens when we go into the ring, what I've done with her so far. So she has had the, she's had the chain on once. As you can see, she's very excited. And I put the chain on, I don't correct her. I'm just, I just communicate, I have little tugs on the, the leash. You can see she's super excited to work. And I just put another little, I have jerky treats. They're dry, so it's easier on my hands. I just hold it out here and I run my hand down her. I pick up a foot. I don't really care where that foot goes. I pick up a foot. She's staying still because I've worked with the stand doing this. She doesn't really know what she's doing, but I'm moving her feet around. I move this hand. She doesn't really know stay, as you can tell, but I'm holding her in one place. It's really important that you are aware of this hand, that you're not moving it out here and causing them to move forward because then they don't understand they're supposed to sit or to stand in one space. So I bring her back here in a twist. I move these feet around sort of where I want them, not really, just so she gets me used to it. And then I hold the collar up and I get her used to me pulling the food away and her standing and it comes back. So now she's willing to stay because she knows it comes back to her. Good girl, Frenzy, good girl. Making this all fun. She loves food, so that's a big part of it. So she's learned how to learn for food and she's waiting for what she has to do next to get the food. So. I'm gating, it's loose, it's taut, the, the collar is up around her ears, underneath her jaw, constantly making sure that's the position of the collar. And we just say, let's go, Frenzy, come on. And we're done, that's it, that's good girl spin. So we keep it fun, we keep it light, I'll put the food right here so she knows to stand. And I give her some, and we're done. That's all I'm doing with her is just this rinse and repeat, picking up feet, keeping it light. I put my hand underneath her tummy if she needs help standing. Good girl, good girl, good girl. Yeah. Good job, Frenzy. And this is just twice I've done this with her. So it's just constantly showing her what's gonna be asked of her without hesitation on my part without fumbling around and very confident. So she's like, okay, mom, what are we doing? She knows that I know what we're doing. I'm giving her the confidence 
of this little game we play of standing and making sure we're doing it right. See, she's watching this hand. She knows the food comes from this hand. She also knows that's touch. So we incorporate lots of fun things in this training just to keep her focused. Down, good girl. And then we go up to a stand from a down. Good stand, good. And this is how I teach the stand today. Yes, so she's targeting my hands. I do have a hand under here. I am holding her. She's not, she doesn't know stay yet. Good stand. Yeah, good girl, Fendi. Yay! Oh, <laughs> she's really dirty. There's dust coming off of her back. She's getting a bath uh, two days from now, which will be good for her to be showing ring. Can't be a farm puppy in the dream. She, very, she gets rolled by her sister, Hazy, in the yard. So, uh, yeah, there's, she's a, a dirty puppy. Give me five. Yeah. So just teaching your dog how to learn will keep that attitude up. And she's watching me. She's waiting for everything I do. Yeah, good girl. And she's going to have fun with it. So I can play with her in the ring and get that attitude and not have a puppy who's worried about what I'm doing. And that I'm like, if I get a little stressed, she won't be stressed because it's, this is just fun and playing. So happy training. Check out Tagline Goods. It's a, uh, what helps me do this, it's really cool t-shirt bags, uh, cool uh, mugs, awesome stuff that you can use uh, that has burner stuff on it. It has all, all breeds of dogs, great gifts for the holidays. Check out Tagline Goods, link, link is up there, and happy training.